Crazy secrets that you may have missed in Gorilla Tag's new Guardian update, and here is everything you need to know. So, if you enjoyed this video whatsoever, then don't leave without hitting this giantly sized red subscribe button, which will be down below, and join my Discord while you're at it. Now, for those of you who do not know, Gorilla Tag has just had another giant update full of map changes, cosmetic changes, secrets, and a new voting system. I'll be showing you that all and more in this video, as well as some theories that I think are going to be coming up in just less than a couple weeks. First thing I want to go over is the fall map change, which is enforced, as you can see, the campfire is back home, and the leaves on the ground have gotten thicker, denser, and it is quite a lot colder outside. They haven't released the full-fledged fall map change quite yet, because it has not reached Thanksgiving yet, and that's when Gorilla Tag will be releasing the hay bale maze, as well as a bunch of hay bales here, a secret scarecrow that might be chasing us, and of course, the new fall cosmetics, slash Thanksgiving cosmetics. Although Gorilla Tag did add a new skybox, which is like a golden hazed sun. As you can see, it's like golden with some darkish clouds, and the moon has gone since it's now in the form of Gorilla Tag's new game mode called the Guardian Game Mode. Let me show you that right now. Now, this is one of the things you may have missed, and it is a secret game mode isn't actually secret because it's right in front of your face when you load into the game as one of my comments actually is said if you join a code with the guardian game mode in it you will notice that by yourself the moon actually stays stationary i'm pretty sure it'll stay stationary until you actually touch it but in a public lobby it'll always be moving since it's an infinite cycle i'll show you what i mean by that in a second but as you can see the leaves are actually beautifully falling off off the trees and it's actually and it is actually very beautiful to see and the leaves are actually turning more and there's actually less and less leaves as the days pass since like i said getting closer to christmas as well but guys let me know down below if you're hyped for thanksgiving and make sure before i touch this very very big ball slash moon Moon, you're claiming your OG ticket on the channel since we're getting closer to 100,000 subs and those of you who click subscribe right 100,000 subs will be an OG member on the channel. So make sure you're getting your OG role now. Comment down below if you're an OG too. Now unfortunately I had to join a new lobby since uh, I pulled up my mod menu and when I do that it actually kicks me off the game. So I'm gonna actually try touching the moon just right now guys. I'm actually so hyped to do this. Oh my goodness dude. Dude, my head is about to touch this. Okay, that did nothing. Let's use my hands. Oh gosh, with the Sigma. Three, two, uh. oh my gosh. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, what the heck? As you can see, I am now giant. And I forgot to tell you, this is because when you actually touch the ball in a single player lobby, you'll become giant for just under two minutes until a new ball crashes down. So now I should be coming, becoming small again. Every time I hit, I'm pretty sure you get smaller. But if you're actually big, you can get out of the map. And I'll show you that right now. That's another secret you may miss, is you can actually get out of the map with one um, hard strike. Someone did this for me. They were like, yo, you want to get out of the map? I'm like, yeah, sure. And you can carry people when you're big as well. So you can actually carry people and get out of the map. As you can see, I'm now out of the map, and it was that easy, guys. And if you're experiencing this, all you have to do is really just get on the map and then wait until you get small again, which is, like, you... Oh, I just got kicked off the game. Oh. And now that I got kicked off the game and borderline banned, I think it's time we just go on to secret number two, which is the amazing new cosmetic. Also, as I'm making my way to city, you'll notice they have not yet brought back the building blocks mode, which, guys, pray for it. We need the building block mode back. And once you get to city, you'll notice that they have a new meteorific monkeys cosmetics, I guess, which will be changing in 20 days, which is like the next big update, guys. And in here, which will be changing in literally less than a week, and we'll be getting our new update in just less than a week, guys, which is the Thanksgiving update. These are the old holding cosmetics, and these are the new cosmetics we just got, which, like I said, will be changing. 20 days uh the fall flashbacks there's no countdown on this so i don't know this is actually another secret this is the only uh, cosmetic in the store that doesn't have like a hitbox as well as a timer which is kind of weird and in just a second i'm gonna be showing you exactly what is behind this pillar that's so important as you can see it's right there but for cosmetics as you can see what we got is we got some really weird guardian gifts because for the guardian game mode i don't know what these are really supposed to be based on like some sort of culture maybe or, or something like that but we got a new skin and we got a couple of cool cosmetics as well as the free cosmetic which guys purchase it while you can it looks like a brain but fear not it is just a really cool cracked moon in memory of the moon event over here we still have the halloween cosmetics like i showed you guys and i think the free cosmetic is gone now i, I don't know and gorilla tanks still seems to be doing their fair share of space leaks with the t-shirts since every couple days we've been getting a max amount of space t-shirts on here and hopefully soon enough we'll be getting all of the space themed cosmetics meaning that we'll get the space update and guys the space update is going to be probably in less than a week and i'll be showing you exactly why in just a second now behind all these cosmetics that i just showed you all is the new secret tunnel which is going to lead into guess you you guys probably guessed it another map which i know this is actually crazy news right new tour but no we're actually gonna be getting a new giant map which is either gonna be a new space map blast from the past so a, pa a past map that we had like the og mount mountains or og any of the og maps that got revamped will be in here unless of course the voting system gets implemented with which guys i'm gonna be talking about that right now which is the new voting system so the voting system is another secret you may have missed and this is actually centered right beside the rocket in city map and as you can see there's a stage and of course some benches for monkeys to sit on 
while other monkeys are talking into the speaker. But why is this so important? Well, that's because the voting system is going to be helping Gorilla Tag to know what map to release in less than eight days, or in other words, in a week. And it is this voting system behind me which has the past and the future to vote for. Now, I personally recommend to vote for the future, although I've already voted for the past, and the reason I did with a stake, okay guys? I was told by a couple of creators that the future is going to be a space map and the past is going to be a blast from the past, like an old map that could really take a revamp, like mountains. But on the other hand, if you guys vote for the future and the future gets a majority vote, then we're going to be getting a new space-themed map in place of Metropolis and or the tunnel map in City. Metropolis will be getting replaced at some point, and that's why I assume it'll be getting replaced with this update, since it is mo kind of like the rotating map, but bigger, and they will be replacing it with either the space update, like I said, and or the past map. Of course, I would love to see Mountains OG and Canyons OG one more time, but I'd way rather see a new space map, since that would allow for space travel, low gravity, and a space game mode. Let me know, you, let me know you guys, would you rather see a future update or a past update in the game? And yes, this will be happening in less than one week. As you can see on the board right here, it says closing in one day, and then a week from tomorrow, there's going to be a giant update based on this. Girl Tech will also be announcing in one day when and what this is going to be, like what update this is going to be, and then we'll have to wait a week for it to actually come out. And there has been a couple other map changes with this fall update, such as like some weird borders that have been taken down. I don't know where these are from, but they're pretty cool, I guess. I don't know what the point of them being right here is, but they're, they're skibbity nonetheless, as well as the carpet leading. It's like a runway leading to the stage, as you can see right here. And this previous question board, which is going to have the winner vote on here. So once this is completed in one day, it'll have the answer on here right here, and which one got more votes on this box. So this is, I'm assuming, the past and this is the future or other way around. So if the future wins, meaning this is the future, it'll have here saying that this one won and how many votes it got, which is kind of a cool idea, since I really want to see which one wins and guys I win. let's be honest here i've been waiting for this space map for so long just for the rocket to launch on one of my videos it took over a year if you remember for the longest time the rocket never launched on my videos and it finally did about a couple months ago so hopefully we get another rocket launch pretty soon in a video but i haven't i haven't I've, i have not seen a rocket launch since and if you guys have seen one of my video you better comment down below and timestamp it so i can see exactly when it happened because i have not been watching um and probably has to be honest but i just don't watch anymore because i've seen it once so now i know what it looks like and the last secret is my theories of what's gonna happen so in summary the rule tag in less than one week is going to get a giant new map change as well as some new cosmetics based on that map change. So whatever we vote for, whether it's the past or the future, is what we're going to be getting in less than one week, guys. And then a week after that is when we're going to be getting the gigantic Thanksgiving update full of new map changes and cosmetic changes, and hopefully some movement changes like some new zip lines in Forest or maybe a Scarecrow that runs after you and like kind of like Lucy. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get something like Hay Bell Rides. So there'll be a train that goes around the map, like Hay Bell Rides that go on in real life, I guess. And it'll just add a really cool movement the game that we all want to see. The Guardian game mode will also probably be replaced, not this upcoming update, but the update after that, so in about two weeks, and hopefully we get a new update based off of something to do with Thanksgiving, like an eating challenge where you have to eat as much as possible in less than 24 hours. But the Sigma? I'm kidding. But let me know down below your th thoughts and theories based on what the next update is going to be, and let me know who you think is going to win the vote, whether past or future, like I said. And don't forget to claim your OG ticket, and make sure you like the video so that everyone else can see my theories and the secrets that you may have missed this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and as always, I will see you later. Mm -hmm.